Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks that, that you and me up there. Uh -huh. like, uh, it works. Same weight class, that's same exactly. mm -hmm. everything, same barbell. Apart from the skill set. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did turn around and I yeah. did yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it kind of happened organically. You know, anytime one of the guys is, uh, is fighting, the team comes together as natural. And uh, so my schedule allowed me to come as well, which is a big thing. It's far enough out from my fight. So it made sense. And here we are. Speaking of the fight, you really wanted to fight in London. You're not getting London. Are you disappointed? Uh, that was definitely, when we looked at the calendar, uh, that was the one that stood out. There's a big, uh, big Indian uh, community out there. Uh, competed there in the Olympic Games. Um, you know, so that was one of the ones that, that really stuck out. It didn't happen, um, but April 14th makes sense. If, if you know that date, um, it's very significant for Indians worldwide. So we're excited about that date as well. It is the birth of our religion, Sikhism. Um, so, you know, with the, with that, uh, you know, the turban issue now behind us, um, that being the next fight, uh, it's going to be celebrated worldwide anyways. So when everyone gets together to celebrate, they'll just turn on the TVs and, and get behind your guy. What do you mean by the turban issue is now behind us? Um, you know, we had we had some challenge with that, uh, unforeseen. Um, you know, in my for my walkout in my last fight, um, and and we kind of got things squared away. Um, you know, I, we had to I guess get that clearance and, and in contact with the company beforehand. Didn't know that first one uh, first one out. Um, now that that's happened, uh, we do have the green light, and wow. uh, so that, that that should be taken care of. You will walk out to the cage wearing your turban. As of right now, that is the plan, and, wow. and, and we've got the green light for that. So it's going to be. It's going to be a, a very special moment for all Indians. Have you chosen like what color turban you're going to do? Or? That's a secret. Right. I, can't, I can't let everything out here. You got to tune in. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, we, we will be color coordinated though. Nice. What, what, what will it mean for for kids in that religion to look at Indians to look and see, oh, yeah. see that? Huge man, huge. That that is very significant. You know, myself growing up, there was there wasn't that that icon I could look up to in any major sport. You know, I was always someone that maybe looked a little different. For, for someone, uh, for a kid to be able to see one of their own, looks the same, talks the same, brought up the same, uh, someone they can relate to, it's always special. You know, I grew up idolizing Muhammad Ali, um, and, but there's aspects of him that I really connected with. If you connect with a total package, you know, you're gonna do wonders for the future. After the first fight, um, you kind of went on this kind of whirlwind, you know, media press tour, both in the UK and in India. What was it like going on that tour uh, to you know, massive Indian communities after having already made your UFC debut. Yeah, it was it was to connect with with all, all the Indians, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, you got over a billion in India, but the diaspora is numbers in the millions around the world too. Uh, and UK is one of those you know leading populations, so it made sense to stop over on the way there. Um, and, and that's what it's about. You know, sport is such a great uh, bridge of, to connect people. Um, and you know, every major sport is wanting to connect with Indian fans. No one's been able to do it. The UFC has their guy, um, and, and I'm excited to be in that position to make that happen. Um, you know, sport is, is used to bring people together, uh, and, and the UFC and MMA is easy to understand. You know, uh, so it, it's, it's, it's very, uh, it, goes, it goes easy with, 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 with uh, what we're trying to do. When I spoke to Daniel Cormier the other day, uh, he gave me a great quote. He said, uh, Arjun Singh Buller has better striking than me uh, when I was his age. So when you hear a comment like that from the light heavyweight champion, the man, how did that make you feel? That, that is the GOAT right there, the greatest uh, light heavyweight champ of all time. Uh, no no, no, uh, no, USADA uh, chasing him around, clean, two-time captain of the Olympic team. That is the man. He is, he is, carries himself as the, um, the, the quintessential champion, for, for a, a standard bearer for the company. Uh, to get that from him is, is major. I looked up to him when I was wrestling. Um, I followed his lead in the MMA game. Um, and, and not only how he carries himself within the cage, but you know, with his family, uh, dealing with media, um, everything, fans, he's, he's a class act. So that, that, that's a big deal. Uh, it certainly seems like you're the finished article, especially when it comes to the media. You know, for someone that just made his UFC debut, uh, you seem to be handling it you know, pretty well. Uh, that's what happens when you come from a high level sports background, though. You know, I represented Canada for many years uh, internationally, Olympics, Commonwealth, Pan Ams, all that. Um, so there was media with that. Um, and if you're familiar with my story, uh, you know, I had a lot of support growing up and I was really put under the spotlight since day one. Um, from, if you look at my story from coming down, down the line with my family and stuff. Uh, so it was something I, I, first I wasn't comfortable with and I wanted to push away. I'm a very private guy if you actually know me. Um, 
but you know, if, if you want to make an impact as an athlete and you want to use your platform uh, for beyond sport, you, you've got to embrace it. So that's what this is. This is also a very exciting time in your personal life. Uh, your wife is due to give birth very, very soon. Yes, um, so how are things going with the pregnancy and how are you kind of handling uh, and coping with the idea that you're going to be a father very, very soon? Yes, man. That's, it's, 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 I reflect on it you know, all the time. It's my first child, March 3rd, wife is due. Um, I, you know, it's, it's, when, you, when you have a, a pair of eyes looking up at you, a uh, different type of motivation. I can only imagine right now, um, but already I want to make sure, you know, I, I lead by example. It's different when you're doing it for people you don't know, um, you know, kids you don't know, now this is your own. So it's going to be very special. Um, and, and again, you're always looking for extra wood to throw in the fire. You, you know, I've been, I've been competing for a long time. That's going to be a big one. For sure, that was a, a great product, uh, a positive PR campaign, um, and uh, it was something embraced worldwide, uh, not just by the athletes, but by Muslims. Um, and, and for us, for Indians, the turban would be huge. If there's no product like that out there, we have been in contact. You know, I'm represented by CAA. They've, they've connected with Reebok um, to, to, to get that positive PR out there. Um, and I, I'm sure, you know, once we get our ducks in a row, um, it would be something to be to be able to celebrate and push. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.